Hello and howdy to everybody. This video is going to be a follow-up of uh, what all's going on with my Squire Strat project, the one that I painted pearl white, which should have been built and I should have been playing it already right now, but I ran into some technical difficulties and I will tell you why. <laughs> First of all, here is the body all ready to go. It is good. I got everything on the strap locks, the bridge with the, the full block. I don't know if you can see that. The matching blue cover on the back. I thought the pit guard looks really nice. The two rail pickups that I got from Guitar Madness that I've already tested with an amp tapped on them and everything, made sure everything works. Everything's ready to go. All I had to do was put the neck on it, string her up, intonate it. Well, I did that, and <laughs> guess what? It did not work. This neck right here, scallop neck, I bought it in the late 80s, a long time ago. Had it on a couple of guitars. Didn't like it back then. Took it off, it's been in storage. I had it in a gig bag. And it's been from two or three different houses, from the garage to a storage building. And I guess over time, being out there in the weather, it wasn't in the weather, it was in a roof, in a gig bag, in a box. But it warped. It didn't look that bad. It does not look that bad. You can't even hardly see it. But when you put it on the guitar, it's got back bow in it right in here it goes up it goes up like that and I've loosened it completely as far as it'll go it took the nut out of it and that back bow just will not come out I tried sanding this down low lower to make it lower and the only I mean I could get it to work with the strings like this freaking high off the board but that wasn't gonna work but I, I hadn't lost all hope in it because I saw a guy put clamps or a bore like two by fours on each end a two by four in the middle and kind of clamp it down and force it force to some bow some bow in the middle this is what I'm gonna do but that's gonna take some time to set up the jig and let it set for a while but I'm gonna do that but I still want this guitar to have a scallop neck on it so here's the original this is the original Squire neck that was on there, and it was, you know, nice looking neck. It's only got 21 frets, which I didn't like. I wanted a 22 fret. But after lots of watching videos and stuff, I decided, you know what, I'm going to scallop my own neck. And this is what I got so far. I'm not completely done with it, but I have got it scalloped. And it was relatively easy. I thought it would be, you know, I was looking for, I was going to, I was looking on eBay to buy one, 90 to 150 to 200 dollars, and I said, "Well, hell, eBay did his own a long time ago. I'll try it." So I did that using just a round bow, smaller round bow, <laughs> and <laughs> I took this paint marker and wrapped it up sandpaper and it fits perfectly in the groove it takes a while take uh, have a lot of patience I'm still not done I got I've got it all the way to here but what I did I put really deep scallops on the end here and then I'm gonna go shallower and shallower and then probably won't even scallop the very first fret I don't see any reason why well or maybe the first two because in your chords they said it's kind of harder to play chords in the scallop section, so I might leave the first three undone. So I got one, two, two more frets to do. And maybe I might just very shallow the, these three or whatever, but I got it deeper down here where I can really bend, especially on the, I wanted it deep here on the 21st fret so I can be able to bend it all the way to that high E like Ingvay does. But anyway, so that's the progress on that, on that project. Stay tuned, I'll have this all done. I gotta put my logo on here. I had the logo, logo worked out great on the first scallop neck. 
So I gotta do the same on this one. And then I'm gonna get it all put together and all that. So anyway, stay tuned, hope you like this video. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more.